my lecturer once told me that he earns about 50,000 Kenya shillings in passive income on a monthly basis and I was like what kind of investment is this that allows you to earn passive income without necessarily doing a lot yani you're just seated somewhere <laughs> and then you get a, a notification that 50,000 Kenya shillings has been deposited into your bank account this caught me by surprise and made me also curious and I was in my final year um, of campus um, and I, w I wanted to know what is this kind of investment that was my first time interacting with what is a money market fund and in simple terms this just means that an investor or a fund manager somebody who manages this money pulls money from different clients so Wanjiko brings in some money Otieno brings in some money, Kawera brings in some money, Mwende brings in some money, Wafula brings in some money, S several people bring in money. This money, um, for demonstration, assuming this we have a basket here, this money is put in this basket. And then the fund manager or this uh, company will decide where to invest this money so when we all you know give whatever we have five thousand here one million here five million here five hundred bob here this money is accumulated and it is invested in an instrument either a treasury bill or a treasury bond uh, most money market funds um, as far as i know are invested in low risk investments and treasury bills and treasury bonds are one of those low risk uh, investments because they are backed uh, by the government there is always this notion that the government always has to to pay back its dues so that is why it is uh, considered low risk we have other investments that have more risk for example shares today probably i'm not sure what uh the the, the the safaricom share price was going for but let's assume it's going for 42 kenya shillings and somebody says something negative about um about safaricom and maybe it's an influential pers person and say the share price drops by three shillings so that makes it 39 shillings so if you had bought these shares at 42 Kenya shillings one share and you had a hundred shares that means you had 4200 and if the price drops to 39 that means the 4200 has now become 3900 because the, the the share price is what uh, determines how much money that you have the money that you have invested um, for instance the price of Safaricom shoots to 45 Kenya shillings and you had 4200 Kenya shillings this means that now your 4200 has become 4500 so this is just an example of how risky some investments are and they all all investments depend with the, how the economy is doing i know i think a few weeks ago or is it a few months ago elon musk uh founder of tesla i believe i think he said something about uh, cryptocurrency specifically bitcoin and i think the prices really dropped and elon musk is um uh, influential uh, um, entrepreneur and so those are some of the risks associated with some of these investments and we have so many instruments that we can all invest in but today we are talking about the money market fund so my lecturer was telling me that he has about six million kenya shillings saved in the in the money market fund and he earns about five thousand kenya shi not five thousand but fifty thousand kenya shillings on a monthly basis and the interest is relatively ten percent per annum with the company that he invests um money in what that means is that the 50,000 Kenya shillings you get monthly uh, basically your interest for the year is about 600,000 Kenya shillings so the 600,000 Kenya shillings is what equates to the 10 percent interest so that means you have uh, some money of, of around 6 million uh, Kenya shillings saved somewhere and that is why you are getting the 50,000 Kenya shillings in passive income or in interest so now my point is not uh the six million kenya shillings i know we are growing not every one of us can have six million shillings <laughs> ready for us uh, to invest but also just to realize that my lecturer did not uh just he did not 
happened to just have their 6 million Kenya shillings. He saved this money on a monthly basis over a period of time and he has been able to amount to 6 million Kenya shillings and that is why he is getting a passive income of 50,000 Kenya shillings in a money market fund that offers roughly 10% per annum. Now, what can we do as ourselves? I honestly believe in growth. I honestly believe in discipline and consistency. You might have 500 shillings, you might have 5,000 Kenya shillings, 10,000, 50,000 Kenya shillings, and it is okay. Maybe you're only able to save about 1,000 Kenya shillings a month. It's fine. Maybe it's 500 Kenya shillings. Maybe it's 10,000, maybe it's 100,000. It doesn't matter where you are starting from. The problem is actually the starting we need to start. But then again, as I said, I always believe in growth. If you're able to save 500 Kenya shillings in a month right now, I honestly believe that you will be able to save more in the next year or so. Because again, you will get increased income. You're probably going to get a, a job promotion. You're probably going to start a business. And that means you will have increased income. So the 500 that you're able to save right now, a few months down the line or a, or a year down the line, that 500 may turn to 1,000 or even to 2,000 or even to 5,000. If you're able to save 5,000 right now. That means that in the next year or so, that 5,000 will become 10,000 or 20,000 because we are growing. We are not just staying in the same um, financial level and so consistency and discipline really matters. For instance, if we have, if you're able to save 5,000 monthly on a monthly basis and you decide that you want to invest in a money market fund and you want to save this money for a period of 10 years and you faithfully invest 5,000 on a monthly basis even if you won't increase the 5,000 you will save 5,000 only every single month by the time 10 years elapsed you will have saved around 600,000 Kenya shillings and the interest that you would have gained if you're earning um, if you're if you're if the average interest rate in the 10 years remains to be 10% for that money market fund, that means that your interest will have 400, uh, will have, you, your interest will be 400,000 Kenya shillings. And what that means in 10 years, if you start saving right now, 5,000 Kenya shillings on a monthly basis in 10 years, the 5,000 Kenya shillings you're saving monthly will become 1 million Kenya shillings. Now, as I said, we are not going to remain in the same uh, financial level uh, for, for, for a long time. We are growing. So this 5,000 can become 10,000 and 15,000 and you will keep increasing your savings amount uh, with you know with with your with your increased income with your increased salary you'll be able to save more so that means you are going to be well over a million kenya shillings in the next 10 years but we have to start now so what do we do with this information there are so many investment instruments that are available and it all depends with our risk appetite if you are you know if you have if, if you would prefer a low risk investment then a money market fund would be a good um, investment uh, instrument if you do not mind the, the level of risk <laughs> if you have a higher risk then there are other investment instruments that you can invest your 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 money in and of course the interest is higher and uh, that is why also the risk is higher so if you are like me and you are not ready to plunge in into a more riskier investment a money market fund would be a suitable investment for you and i like using this example of comparing a money market fund and a bank i know many of us uh, put our money in the bank because we feel that it is safe i'm not sure whether we have people who still put money under the mattress because you also feel like the money is not safe in the bank but anyway if i had fifty thousand kenya shillings in my bank right now and i don't touch that money in the next say six months or one year after one year i will still have the fifty thousand kenya shillings but in a money market fund if i have fifty thousand kenya shillings right now and i put it in a money market fund in the next uh one year my money will have grown um with ten percent so that means my fifty thousand uh, would have accumulated interest of 
5,000 Kenya shillings. So I have 55,000 Kenya shillings compared if I had just left my money in the bank. So money market funds are have relatively low risk if you have you know some money somewhere you do not have you know any plan to use it um, like for a certain period of time you can put it there and it can earn interest over the period of time that you have you know put that money there and you can literally start with any amount you do not need to have like a lot of money i know there are investment uh, companies that actually allow you to save as little as 500 bob like you can literally open an account with 500 bob others are a thousand others are five thousand different companies have different uh rules that have been stimulate stipulated um and thereafter you can deposit as much as you want the fact that if you if let's say you this month you invest five thousand kenya shillings it doesn't mean that you have to invest five thousand kenya shillings in the next month imagine you can just invest a thousand shillings uh maybe that will that month is a good month you will you get some money you can invest ten thousand kenya shillings so you are not limited in the amount that you need to invest on a monthly basis i I know there is a baseline of uh, the minimum amount that you can invest depending on the organization the company you might find that the minimum you can invest in a certain company maybe is a thousand and that is okay you can find that in another organization you can send as little as 50 bob and that is okay so different organizations or companies different investment companies have different uh rules do your due diligence if you're looking for a company uh, that you'd like to invest your money with look at the history of the company how has it performed in the last five ten years because again we've had companies that have risen up but have also fallen because they have become bankrupt so do your due diligence if this is something that you are interested in and you can literally start with anything even 500 bob you can start with it so feel free <laughs> to do your research on um, money market funds i feel like it is a very uh, good uh, investment uh, platform for so many of us who uh, probably have low income and you still want to save but at the same time you want to reap the benefits of um, interest income also if you have a low risk uh, like me then this would be a very good um, investment uh, instrument uh, to invest in i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have any questions or feedback you can put them down in the comment section below we we are now at a thousand over a thousand subscribers thank you so much for everyone each and every one of you to my new subscribers and to my returning subscribers i appreciate each and every one of you let's keep growing let's keep learning from one another i will put down my email down below budget living kenya at gmail.com if you have any questions on everything money feel free to send me an email and i will be happy to help so guys i will see you on the next video thank you for watching and uh, remember to thrive and not just survive bye bye